chemical formulas as conversion factors. Hydrogen may potentially be used in the future as a fuel to replace gasoline. Most major automobile companies, therefore, are developing vehicles that run on hydrogen. These cars are environmentally friendly because their only emission is water vapor. One way to obtain hydrogen for fuel is to use an emission-free energy source such as wind power to split hydrogen from water. What mass of hydrogen in grams is contained in 1.00 gallon of water? The density of water is 1.00 gram per milliliter. The information that we're given is the fact that we're going to take one gallon of water and determine the number of grams of hydrogen. But we're also given the fact that the density of the water is one gram per milliliter. We were asked to find grams of of hydrogen. Now hydrogen actually occurs as a diatonic molecule and we could solve this for H2. But let's go ahead and solve it for grams of H. The answer would be the same in either case. This is a multi-step problem and having a conceptual plan is especially important. In our plan, we're going to start with the given information, which is the gallons of water, which is an English unit, which we're, we need to convert to a metric unit, which would be liters. Now we have information in the density that will allow us to go from a volume to a mass, but the volume is in milliliters. So our next step will be to convert liters to milliliters of water. Then we can employ the density to get grams of water. Now the relationship between grams of water and grams of hydrogen can be obtained by using the mole linkage. So we will convert the grams of water to moles of water the formula of which will allow us to obtain moles of hydrogen and once we know moles of hydrogen using the molar mass of hydrogen we can get grams of hydrogen. So we have
one. Two, three, four, five, six steps. Each of these steps will require a conversion factor. For now, let's label these A, B, C, D, E, and F. And let's make a list of the relationships. that make up these conversion factors. A, B, C, D, E, and F. Conversion factor A will take us from the English gallons to the metric liters. One gallon is equal to 3.785 liters. This information can be found in a table in your textbook. The second step, going from liters to milliliters, we know that in one liter there are 1,000 or 10 to the third milliliters. Going from milliliters of water to grams of water requires the information contained in the density which tells us that one milliliter of water has a mass of one gram of water. Going from grams of water to moles of water involves the molar mass and the molar mass of water is two times the molar mass of hydrogen which is 1.008 which we can find on a periodic table plus the molar mass of oxygen, 16.00, and this gives us 18.02 grams per mole. Going from moles of water to moles of hydrogen, we simply have to look at the formula and see that in one mole of the entire molecule we have two moles of H. So one mole of H2O 
contains two moles of H. And then finally, going from moles of hydrogen to grams of hydrogen requires the molar mass of hydrogen from the periodic table. That is at one mole of hydrogen has a mass of 1.008 grams. We're now ready to solve the problem. Starting with the number of gallons of water, which is one. We're going to employ the conversion factor of one gallon equal to 3.785 liters. So we want the 3.785 liters in the numerator and our one gallon in the denominator. So gallons cancel out. Second step is to convert the liters to milliliters. And we have 1,000 milliliters per liter. the liters cancel. We're now going to use the density to go from milliliters to grams. And we have 1.0 per milliliter. Milliliters cancel out. Now we're working with grams of water. So perhaps we should be more careful and write that there. which we want to now convert to moles. And we know that one mole of H2O has a mass of 18.02 grams of H2O. grams of H2O cancel out. We have two moles of H for every one mole of H2O. of water cancel. And finally we have 
point zero zero eight grams of H per mole of H. leaving us with grams of H as a unit. And that's the answer that we want. So it turns out to be 423 grams of H can be derived from one gallon of water.